The lookout at the front quickly locates the target and gives flight control the go-ahead. They're getting a perfect tone in the headphones. Command and control press the launch button. The stoker immediately begins shoveling fuel into the combustion chamber. And the result? No less than astounding. The powerful acceleration causes the missile's helmsman to fall off his chair. And for a brief moment, the missile is flying unguided. Everyone's panicking. The target is supposed to be right in the center of the lookout's field of view and not jump around from one side to the other. Orders are being issued in all directions. After a while, the helmsman returns to his seat and he has to work harder than ever. He needs to recover the time they've lost. The stoker keeps shoveling away, unconcerned about the troubles up front. After a while, however, the helmsman manages to put things right and a degree of calm is re-established in the forward sections. The lookout is still focused on the target, but it's moving all the time. The helmsman's hefty maneuvers are apparently causing chaos. The missile has now reached its maximum speed. There are two more crew members in the room behind the helmsman, the pitcher and the catcher. As soon as the worst chaos is over, the pitcher starts throwing balls through a set of holes in the side of the missile, ball after ball, in a continuous stream. The catcher keeps a lookout through another set of holes to see if a ball just might bounce back from the target. The stoker has finished shoveling. They're out of fuel. Whoops, a ball's just bounced back. And another one. Hey guys, we've reached the target. Red alert! The blaster has so far had a quiet journey. Now he's abruptly awakened from his dreams. Let's go for it! Fire in the hole! Abandoned missile! 